Hello, this is Johnny from Venn Audio. Today I'll be showcasing our latest freeware plugin, Utility. Now, the inspiration for Utility came about when I found that some DAWs lacked a fully automatable track control plugin to control typical properties of a given track or stem that I could insert before or in between effects chains, while other DAWs that did have built in Utility plugins differed on what features were available. This motivated me to creating a free, universal utility plugin. One that would give engineers many of the things they would need to prepare or automate a mix channel for further processing, or to use as a standalone digital channel strip. So let's get to it. Today I'm using Reason, as this is one of the DAWs I felt lacked a built-in unit quite like this. The first thing you'll notice is the input box, which is set to stereo by default and includes individual pans for the left and right channels. Those of you that have used Pro Tools might be familiar with this. Adjusting these is straightforward. You can double click on any parameter to reset it to its default position. The drop down menu allows you to switch between different input modes. Dual mono, for instance, converts the signal to mono, copied to both stereo channels. This also includes a pre mono balance, controlling how much precedence is given to the left or right channel for conversion into mono. Below this, you have three buttons which are standard on many channel strip plugins mute, which is obvious. Pad, which provides a minus 20 decibel reduction in volume, quite standard on many channel strip plugins. And the DC button, which offers DC offset correction, should be inaudible at this moment. After this, you have your gain control, which is fairly straightforward. You also have individual right and left channel gains, which you can use to have more precise control over your stereo image. You can also just completely disable the channel just by turning them off, like so. Phase inversion on either channel is also possible. Of course, there's also a standard pan or balance control. Mid-side processing is also available and automatable and is a useful feature of utility. A stereo signal typically has both mid or center information and side information, which is, to put simply, audio that appears to be coming from the sides of the stereo image rather than from the center. The width knob ranges between 0% and 200%. Reducing this parameter below 100% makes the signal sound less wide. Reducing the signal all the way to 0% removes all side information and effectively makes it mono. Alternatively, Increasing this value above 100% makes the signal sound effectively wider. Increasing it all the way to 200% removes all center information and you're left with just the side information. You can also completely disable the mid or the side of a signal, like so. For instance, you might split the signal into two instances of utility, one with just mid and one with just side, for separate mid-side processing. Disabling the side is also a very quick way to achieve mono, whatever suits your workflow best. As with left and right, there are also separate mid and side gains. Small boosts to the side gain, for instance, can help the signal sound slightly wider without reducing its overall power. Utility also comes with responsive high pass and low pass filters, as found on many channel strips. These are maximally flat, minimal phase filters with 12 dB per octave slopes. And remember, everything in Utility can be automated without having to worry about zipper or clicking noise. The 
Lastly in the signal chain are the soft clip and hard clip buttons. These prevent sample peaks from exceeding 0 dB. Soft clip applies cubic wave shaping as found on our previous plugin, Free Clip. Utility can be downloaded for free at www.venaudio.com forward slash utility. Thank you for watching.